What is going on guys? Welcome to your 59th Java tutorial. And if you've been watching the last couple of tutorials, then we pretty much learned all the really basic concepts of polymorphism and inheritance and stuff like that. So in this tutorial, we're going to be putting all our knowledge to use and building a program that pretty much gets a class and puts objects in an array. And it sounds confusing, but um, you're going to see what it is eventually. But before I uh, get into programming, I want to show you guys that I got rid of all my other classes because I'm going to need um, a better example. And I thought that this would clearly um, or better demonstrate. So I made a new dog class and I made a new class called fish and that I made a new class called animal and since dog is an animal and fish is an animal then I had them both extends or inherit from the class animal and um, I didn't want to do that just because it took time but I pretty much just made these classes and I have nothing inside of them so if you want to go ahead and do that you can follow along with me so then here's a scenario we made these three classes called dog fish and animal and our boss comes in and he's like, all right, Bucky, I need you to program something for me. And I'm like, what is, he's like, I need you to make a new class called, mm, we'll name it dog list or something like that. And in this class, I want you to have an array that we can add dog objects. So like I said, an array can hold many things. It can hold numbers, it can hold strings. It can also hold objects. And this comes into use, um, well we're going to be finding out why a little later but in this tutorial we're going to be building a new class and a new array to hold dog objects why because our boss told us to so let's go ahead and do it the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and under your package under your source right click it and click a new class I know you probably can't see it so I will move it down source new wow now you really can't see it but anyways, if you click a new in class, you get this thing that pops up. And just go ahead and put dog list or something like that. And now, let me move this back. So, there we go. Now we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five classes. And we have this new dog list class. And in this class, we're going to be building an array to hold objects from this dog class. And the fact that it extends animal is irrelevant for now. So we have this dog list class and our boss wants us to build an array. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and make it private because no need to make it public. Dog and we're putting dog and we'll name the array the list. And we'll set this equal to new dog with a parameter of five or an array length of five. And we put this dog in dog even though we named the array the list we put dog and dog right here because that is what objects it's going to be holding it's going to be holding stuff from the dog class so now that we have an array name main list let's go ahead and the only other thing we're going to need um, to work with our array is a counting variable so let's go ahead and name private i equals zero you can um, set equal to x if you feel more comfortable with that but what's this error saying right here um all right we need an int. Private int i equals zero. So now we have an integer that's just a counting variable that's going to help us work with our array. So now let's go ahead and build a new method to add dog objects. So again, or not again, we need um, a method named public void. We'll name it add. You can name yours whatever you want. I'm just going to name it add because it makes sense. And as a parameter, whenever you call this, it's going to take a dog object and we'll name it D for now short and sweet and the first thing we want to do in this method is do an if statement so let's go ahead and make if and we'll put I which is our counting variable that's zero now is less than the list dot length and what this pretty much does is check if your array is full or not so if I the counting variable is greater than five then your array is already full so it would just I mean the method to run but it wouldn't add another one to array because this can only take five elements so if it were seven and we tried to add one then it wouldn't do anything so if it is less than length which means if it still has room in our array what do we want to do well the first thing that we want to do is put the list in i 
which would be zero now, and we want to set it equal to D. So we're pretty much just going to loop through the array, and every time we call this method, add an object to that array element. Then just give us a little um, system out print line on screen, something that says like dog added at index space, and we'll put I right there. Come on, come on, there we go. And we'll just, looks good right now. So now we have just a little um, something on our screen that we can see visually because, you know, we want some feedback here. So next, we'll just increment through I. So here's what this method is doing. It pretty much checks if your array is full or not. If not, it adds that object at that index. And then it says, just gives us a little message on the screen. And then it goes to the next counter so we don't keep adding it in the same index in our array. So now we built this class, just like our boss said, that has an array named the list, and it's going to loop through, and every time you call this method, it's going to add a new object to the array. So let's go ahead and do this in our um, main method. I named mine apples. I don't know why, but I did. So now let's go ahead and make a dog list object. So let's go ahead and put dog list uh, I'm going to name my DLO. You can name your object anything you want. And then you just put equals new dog list. So yours should look the exact same as mine, except if you didn't want to name it DLO, you don't got to. So now we can go ahead and create a dog object because, I mean, we need one as our parameter. So we create dog D, or if you don't have a dog class, then uh, whatever you have. And we'll set it equal to new dog object just like that it doesn't take any parameters because it doesn't even have any constructors or anything now what we have to do is pretty much call the method in our dog list so use that object DLO whoa embarrassing DLO that's where I meant to type it and we have a method called add in there remember that's what our method was called and it takes a parameter of an object a dog object and we have a dog object right here dog D so let's go ahead and put D as our parameter right there. And that's it pretty much. Just run this baby. Click OK. And now if everything goes right, it should say dog added at index 0. And if we added another one, it would say dog added at index 1. And it would go 2, 3, 4. And it would go all the way. Um, and that is because we set this equal to a length of 5, which means index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's your real basic tutorial on our how to create an array to add objects into it. But then, what if our boss comes in and says, Yeah, come in, boss. Hey, Bucky, I got a little problem. What's that, boss? All right, you know how I told you to create a dog list to hold dog elements? Or, excuse me, dog objects? Well, now, um, the people we're working for, they said, All right, I want it to hold fish elements, too. So how are we going to fix this problem? Well, that is a problem for the next tutorial, and that's what we're going to be doing. And trust me, you don't just add another um, entire class called fish. What we're going to do is making this bigger and better, and, you know, it's just going to be awesome. And you're going to learn a lot in the next tutorial, so thank you guys for watching. And another thing, um, my 500th video that I add, I have, like, 491 my 500th video is going to be the best video and the biggest surprise for you guys ever so you do not want to miss this 500th video it's probably being released this weekend but it is going to be incredibly awesome and trust me you guys are definitely going to want to see it so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next tutorial